What's going on guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys what type of supplements you guys should be taking if you're first starting out to the gym, plus what types of foods you can eat if you're trying to build muscle. So guys, if you guys are looking for a supplement stack to start off with, this is my recommended supplement stack. Now, when I first started training, I had no idea, you know, what type of supplements to take. I pretty much took everything under the sun at GNC. And the first thing I remember taking was a weight gainer because, you know, I thought I had to eat big to get big. And I ended up taking that weight gainer and I did put on a lot of muscle, but I also put on a lot of fat. Now, would I take a weight gainer today? Definitely not, just because uh, a weight gainer is great for somebody who has trouble eating. Um, but if you don't have trouble eating, you can get in your cows through, you know, whole foods. But aside from that, I want to talk to you guys about, you know, the starter pack that I recommend for you guys if you're just starting out. Now, the first thing would be protein. Protein is super beneficial to help you hit your protein needs for the day. And one scoop is 27 grams of protein, which is, you know, equivalent to like a palm size of chicken breast. Now, if you're in a rush or, you know, you don't have time to get in, you know, chicken breast or steak or, you know, eggs, then protein shake can come definitely in handy. And that has saved my life in high school, in uni. When I didn't have time to cook, um, I would literally down, you know, three to four scoops of this a day. And do I recommend it over whole foods? No, obviously whole foods is better. However, protein powder is definitely good as a supplement to help you hit your protein needs. Now, what I recommend doing is doing two to three uh, scoops a day um, and the rest of your protein should be, you know, through whole foods. Now, how much protein do I recommend per day? Usually you want to aim for a gram to 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight. Generally, one gram is enough, but if you are, you know, um, trying to build as much muscle as possible and if you're bulking um, you could go all the way up to 1.5 grams of protein will it be more beneficial than a gram um, that could be arguable but personally from my personal experience i found that you know 1.5 grams of protein was the sweet spot for me now the second supplement that i would recommend would be creatine now creatine is actually one of the most heavily studied researched uh supplements there is and it's proven to help you build muscle, to help you build strength. And what creatine does is creatine actually replaces your ATP um, and it helps you increase the creatine in your body. So if you are looking to build muscle, build strength, uh, creatine is definitely beneficial. Now, how much do you want to supplement with? You want to supplement with five grams per day. Um, there is a loading phase where you're supposed to take, you know, 10, 15 grams of uh, creatine per day. However, I don't recommend a loading phase. It's not necessary. So what I recommend doing is just taking five grams every single day. Um, and a lot of people ask, you know, Matt, what time should you be taking it? Now, timing does not matter for creatine. Um, um, as much as people say, you know, I want to take five grams of creatine pre-workout because it's going to help my strength. You don't need to do that. As long as you're getting in creatine throughout the day on a daily basis, that's perfectly fine. So five grams a day of creatine monohydrate. Now there are a bunch of different types of creatine out there. There's creatine HCL, there's buffer creatine monohydrate in pill form. However, I personally think that creatine monohydrate just plain in powder form is the best option just because to be honest, you get the most servings. So you get the best bang for your buck and it's the most research in terms of all the types of creatine. So I personally have gotten the best results with this as well. Now, aside from that, I would say um, if you were to pick a supplement stack, you only need to get protein and creatine. Everything else is secondary or bonus or luxury in my opinion. Now, uh, a secondary product would be something like glutamine. If you feel like you're not recovering properly, if you feel you're sore, um, then glutamine is great to help with recovery. Now, aside from you know recovery, glutamine has a lot of benefits such as um, increasing immune system function, uh, improving your gut health, improving you know your gut lining, helping with uh, digestion as well. So this is really beneficial in terms of just overall immune system function. Um, when I'm getting sick, I load up on glutamine, but it does help with muscle soreness as well. Now you can find glutamine in your protein powder as well, or in amino acids. However, I personally take glutamine on its own. I'll just add it to my protein shake. Is it necessary? Now it's not. However, I recommend it 
in a supplement stack. I take five to 10 grams of glutamine per day. So the other two supplements that I take is vitamin D3 and vitamin C. Now this is just for immune system function and overall health. Vitamin D3 is great if you want to improve your overall mood. Um, a lot of the times, because I live in Canada, there is no sun at all. So I'm getting no vitamin D3 or not a lot of vitamin D3. So I like to supplement with vitamin D3. It's good for uh, maintenance of bones and teeth as well. And vitamin C is just great for immune system function. Um, it's a great antioxidant as well. And it's just great for good health. So what are the supplements that I also recommend that are not in here? Um, the next product would be maybe a pre-workout. Um, pre-workouts are great to give you that energy, to give you that extra boost in the gym. However, it's not necessary. Uh, you can always take something like coffee to give you that extra energy, as well as like a pre-workout meal, such as like a banana, some simple carbs to give you that energy. Now, I personally uh, like pump products as well. Well, so a non-stim pre-workout is great. It has ingredients like citrulline to help with better pumps in the gym. Um, so personally, that is a product that I love to use and I'll stack it with something like caffeine or coffee. Now, another product that I recommend is BCAs, also known as branched chain amino acids. Is it necessary? Again, it is not um, because you can find BCAs in your protein. Now, you don't need BCAs. However, um, what I find it does help with is muscle recovery as well as muscle endurance. When you're working out in the gym, you build up lactic acid in the muscle. This causes muscle breakdown, muscle fatigue. So I do find when I sip on the BCAs, I actually get better endurance in my workouts. I find I'm able to last longer in my workouts. I hold the pump longer and I don't gas out as quick. So for me, I find BCAs are great. A lot of the BCAs also have electrolytes in them to help with the hydration aspect. So I find BCAs are super beneficial however I recommend it as you know a luxury if you have extra you know um, side cash and you want to spend it on something like BCAs then go ahead and do it so that wraps up the supplements that I recommend for a beginner stack now I'm gonna show you guys the types of foods that you can eat to hit your protein goals and build some muscle now for those of you guys who don't really know uh, about me I actually do flexible dieting and what that means is I'm allowed to pretty much eat whatever I want as long as it fits in my macros and my calories However, I personally choose whole foods because it does help me you know, feel better, I feel like I perform better, and I just feel overall healthier. Um, however, I do fit in foods that I like you know, a lot of the times. So that is my approach. A lot of people believe you, know, you can only eat chicken and rice and that's how you make gains and it's not true. However, I am a bro at heart, so I still love to eat my chicken and rice, my steak and rice. So I'm gonna show you guys the types of food that I use personally. So the first one is steak. Now you guys know that I love my red meats. Um, I always choose the leanest meat possible. So this is Angus Eye Round Steak. And if you can tell, there's not a lot of marbling on this. So I always look for you know steaks where there's not a lot of marbling. Something that is a leaner cut such as flank or Angus uh, Eye Round is pretty lean. Now. Uh, I love my salmon as well. So I got some frozen salmon. Um, salmon is great for hitting my protein. Uh, another protein source that I use is obviously chicken breast. Um, I'm not a big fan of chicken breast, but you know, it's great to obviously hit your protein. Uh, for me, I personally like chicken thighs. Now I know a lot of people, you know, say, oh, chicken thighs, it's got a lot of fats. I will use skinless, boneless chicken thighs. Um, it's a little bit juicier, tastes better than just regular chicken breast, and that is my go-to recently. I also use egg whites and just regular eggs to hit my protein goals as well. Obviously, um, regular eggs have a little bit more fat, um, and egg whites is just straight protein. There is no fat. It's like literally just drinking a protein shake, except it's really nasty um, if you're gonna drink it. Actually, it tastes like milk, to be honest. Um, but aside from that, those are my key ingredients that I use to hit my protein. Now, how do I hit my carb sources? My carb sources is um, Quick Oats by Quicker Oats. That's my guy. Uh, Quick Oats, super easy to make. Um, just put them in the microwave or use you know hot water to just cook my oats. Um, aside from that, obviously I'm Asian, so you know I gotta eat my rice. My carbs consist of, in terms of my carb sources, 80% rice. Probably. When I'm not using rice, I like to use whole wheat tortillas. These are great because they're super high in fiber. It helps me hit my fiber goals for the day. They're great in macros. So if anybody's wondering, if you want some low carb uh, tortillas, high fiber tortillas as well, La Tortilla Factory, this is amazing. And aside from that, you know, I gotta hit my veggies. So I got some frozen veggies, super quick, super easy. I throw them in my rice. 
quick and easy to you know throw into a stir fry. Um, I also have spinach and broccoli as well. So these are the types of food that I use to you know hit my protein goals, my carb my carb goals, and my fat goals. Um, if you know I'm trying to hit my fat goals, I'll go with you know something like olive oil, maybe some peanut butter. I use eggs and also fatty cuts of meat like salmon. Salmon is a little bit higher in fats as well as you know the beef. If I even want to go higher in fats, then I'll go for ground beef. But aside from that, this was kind of like the foods that I eat on a daily basis. So hopefully this helps you guys um, in terms of you know what foods you can eat. Now, obviously you don't have to follow these types of foods to the T. However, these are the foods that have helped me hit my protein goals, my carb goals, and you know help me perform optimally. So I love these types of foods. Hopefully you can throw some of these into your diet. Also, don't forget your fruits, guys. I forgot to include my fruits in here, but I'll have some bananas and blueberries as well. So that wraps up today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you found some of this information valuable and maybe you guys will add some salmon or some egg whites into the mix for your diet. Make sure you guys like, comment, and of course, subscribe.